powerful words this morning. We can recreate our future by the words that God has put in our mouth. We can make this confession in Jesus' name. I affirm that I'm an offspring of the word. I am born into wealth. Down in my heart is the nature of the Father. Therefore, I am known for excellence. I'm a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar creation called out of darkness into God's marvelous light. To display the excellence and perfections of divinity. As the Father is, so am I in this world. I have all the attributes of God. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, I am inundated with the life of God. <laughs> I am indestructible. <laughs> the grace of God is super abundance in my life. Thus, when men experience a casting down, I am continuously lifted up. Everywhere I go, I succeed. The word of God dwells in me richly, in all wisdom, propelling me in perfection and excellence. I have a sound mind and an excellent life but I am yielded to and led by the spirit because I am yielded to and led by the spirit who guides me through the word therefore I am perfect proficient and thoroughly fitted for every good work Divinity is tabernacled in my physical body. I am a new creation. No subject to the elements of this world. I live the transcendent life. Divinity flows in every fiber of my being. In every cell of my blood. And in every bone of my body. I reign over sickness and disease poverty and lack. I am superior to Satan. The life of God is in me and it causes me to prosper in all that I do. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water and I bring forth fruit always. I do not know when the heat comes because my trust is in the Lord. Amen. Yes, we need to learn to speak faith-filled words. And we create for ourselves whatever we want to experience. When Isaac told us that our feet will follow our, our mouth. It is not your your mouth following your feet. It is the opposite. So if we wake up in the morning, speak boldly. We live in a very defeated world in which everything is falling apart. Lots of discouragement for many people. Lots of struggle. But we will not struggle in Jesus' name will grow stronger by the day. Something that has to be common with us is movement from one level of glory to another. We don't come down. In this book of Job chapter 28 sorry, chapter 22 verse 28 This word is very powerful. Thou shalt decree a thing and shall be established unto thee. 
and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Who causes the light to shine on your ways? You're the one. By speaking what you want to see. And then he says in verse 29, When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting up. Amen. When all are going down, you say, For me there is lifting up. You go above where you were before. You don't come down. This, you'll say, When men are cast down, you say there is lifting up. So I'm only lifted up. I only know how to go up and up and up. So you follow your mouth. This week I will talk about from glory to glory. Amen. Yes, every morning I'll talk about glory to glory. From glory to glory. A God wants us to increase how can I put it? Growth is of God. He naturally put things in everything he has ever created. Even from the beginning in Genesis chapter 1. He intends multiplication of it. Multiplication of everything. Be the trees he planted, he brought forth. Be the human beings, be the animals. All that God knows is increase and progress. That is one of the principles that works in his, in his kingdom. And as long as we are operating by his word, we should not even accidentally allow ourselves to go down. Amen. Sometimes you have to catch yourself if you're going down. No. How am I going down? I have to. Why am I not increasing? I should. I should increase. It, there has to be a mindset. A mindset that. Uh, a mindset that guides you. Always to think. Above only. Not coming down. In all areas of life. One thing about the grace of God, it only knows you how to extend your boundaries. How to increase your finances. How to make you more knowledgeable. To increase in knowledge and, and wisdom. You will receive from God to the level you have capacity to stop. In, 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 in Old Testament whenever Moses went for prayer and he comes down it's very hard to lead people who don't pray very hard to lead people who don't pray this year I think this month this month is coming to an end. Next month, we have to have increase in this meeting. In Jesus' name. People must feel here. Like, just like the time of Ben Isaac. Amen. We need to feel here the next three months. When you arrive, you will continue. Moses was leading people who do not want to appear where God is. They are not used to God of heaven and earth. They were used to idols in Egypt. So, at some point, Moses told them, uh, let us go and visit our father. He was leading them to the mountain where they access God. And when they saw the thunders and the lightnings, I think they saw that they thought that God is the God they are talking about is another human being seated somewhere. So they go and see. So when they went there, 
thunders, lightnings, ah! earthquake. <laughs> and they say, if this is what you normally experience, <laughs> I think we can just allow you to, to hear and come and speak to us. Now that is dangerous for a leader, especially a spiritual leader. I mean that is dangerous for a spiritual leader because uh, you know it, it is it is not easy to follow God who is invisible if you do not get revelation of who he is and what he is up to, what he's leading you to do. It is not easy. Because now you need to explain everything. <laughs> but when people come and pray and visit him, even his presence itself is a way it changes their mind. The mind becomes sound. One thing about the, the anointing of the spirit is it makes your mind sound. In fact, to speak things that are so sound that sometimes you even wonder if you taught it yourself. <laughs> if, if you watch closely men of God who stand up and preach after they have saturated themselves in the power, in the in tongues, in the, the presence, they speak words of things that they have not even put down, not written down. The, it is a way the Holy Ghost with his presence. So these people say, no, no, no. Don't do not lead us up there. Just go here for yourself and then come down. I don't know if maybe Moses didn't know how it is hard to lead people who are not spiritual, who don't seek God. You have to lead people who can seek God like you seek him. If, if, if I come to, to, to pray and you come to pray, it's easier to convince you. Then imagine I come here, pray, and I go home. You wait me at home for me to come and tell you what God has said. Number two, when he came down from there, his face, he has to, to cover his face. Because the glory remained on his face. When he comes down, it is like the sun coming down, you know. Imagine sun coming to where you are. This big sun. It's just walking down, it's like you it is too the face is shining too much. I tell you. Not one person who said that. The glory on his face. The many people who are there could not be this turn. Not one person. He said, cover it. So whenever he goes to pray, he goes alone very lonely man although he's going to visit God but whenever he comes down he also has to do what? cover in other words even some of the things he receives after praying whatever God gives him people cover it I wonder many of them perished in the wilderness not even one of them went to only two of them including Moses, he remained there. People who don't grow spiritually will kill you. <laughs> if, you if you are a leader. Huh? So, they, whatever they receive from God, they receive from, they do not receive from him. And it's very painful. How do you lead people that hardly receive what is of God? Those are the Old Testament. I'm not talking about the Old Testament. Although I'm, I'm trying to give you that. That picture. Look at it. Look at that picture. I'm just giving a background of the very word I wanted to read. Now if you read 2 Corinthians chapter number 3, the whole of it, you find about what I'm talking. You find the whole of it, but I will read the last few verses.
Ah, uh, wow, this is just too loaded. The Bible says, uh, verse, let me begin from verse, verse 13. And not Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. But their minds were blinded, for until this day remains the same veil and taken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is still upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty but we all with open face beholding us in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even by the spirit of the Lord now I'm just I'm just reading what I've just explained. Uh, you can imagine what happened during the time of Moses continued throughout until even when Jesus came. That these people could not receive Jesus. They could not receive Jesus. The veil was not just put on their face. You see, one of the things they were hindering when they were putting that veil on his face, they were hindering the glory of God. Well, let me put it this way. They were hindering the spirit that was functioning in Moses. What is anointing? Anointing is, is, is a spirit that God releases on you that causes success of anything. It is what makes you uh, or what gives you a perspective, an attitude concerning something. No. Whenever you see God anointing somebody, it's when people have already been defeated. Like when it came up upon David. People already defeated. They knew that this man is too big. You cannot bring him down. When the anointing comes on you, what it does is that it, it creates in you a certain kind of zeal that cannot be stopped. Passion. Yeah? It gives you a mindset of a modern conqueror. You do not. Now you see how it affects your thinking. So when they stopped. The glory of God to shine in their hearts and mind. They remained failures for life. And they could not overcome anything. And they could not increase. They remained where they were. In fact, they were reducing by the day. Because when you don't grow spiritually, you are going down. Yeah, you go down. So they stopped this spirit that should have come into them. There is a kind of spirit the anointing will put in you. The one that says, in fact, they call it the spirit of faith. Where you cannot accept anything that is less than excellence. Where you cannot accept to go down. You know, 
you, it, this thing gives you capacity to remain on top and to go higher. It's anointing. You remain on top and you go higher. You, your mindset is about how to increase only. How to extend, expand. That is that the mindset you have. You don't think about, you know, others are sitting and wondering, you know, it is not fair. fair. Yeah? Life is not fair. Um, things are not working. There is no business. You go to these hotels. They tell you, yesterday we went to golf with the leaders here. We didn't find food. So we went to Imperial Dell. They are also saying there you hardly find. That's where we did we we did our meeting from as leaders from here. When we went there, we saw almost nobody's there. People are like, you don't even see, you, you don't even see people coming. On customers are very few. They're not even there. Not with us. When there is casting down, <laughs> you simply say, there is lifting up for me. When there is failure everywhere, you say, no, I succeed. That is the spirit I'm talking about. When kama ume, when you come on kwa mama hali. So you come only panda gari. Ukajipata kwa matope ikakataa kuondoka. Na muna jaribu kuzukuma ni atari because ukisimama nyuma matope itakumadisa. <laughs> Na some of us before this tamak came. Tuliona siku mrefu sana. Sometimes you, even in these areas, the road, the way it is today is not the way it was some years back. And those years we remember, you try to pull out, the, push the thing out of the thing, and the mud is everywhere, your, your body and your face. You, you know, gari mekwama, nyinyi pe mumekwama na gari, na muna option, mujaribu kusukuma, Sometimes that is how life is to people. They are stuck. Everything has stopped. I mean everything has stopped moving. Until now you, you develop your language from how the life is. Eh? You form vocabularies out of what is. So you begin describing the way things are. And the way you speak that language the more you remain. This spirit, this anointing, it gives you new, different language to speak, which is lifted above the situations in which you are. It gives you different mindset, different perspective. You cannot grow and move from one level to another when you are stuck in your mind. You cannot. And that's why you must choose to, 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 to learn new, new language. You must, if you, if you listen to people who are above you, like when I, I go to class, you know, I listen to people who have done ministry for years and you just sit there you don't even want that mid class to come to an end because these people are on another level. You are down here. And they speak from up there. And the way they look at things are different. For you, you think that all there is is that level to which you are living. But some people have gone beyond that. And their languages have changed. And everything that they are doing, they are doing it from another level of life. That's why knowledge is important. One of the reasons why the churches in Marsabit cannot go anywhere is because only the people who are there they are the ones that preach. That's why we need to bring in some of these big preachers once in a once in a while. Kama so sorted to mekwama. You know there's a child, there's a there's a there's a way that the environment will will form you. And if all of us are living in the same area, there's a way that information that is running in Marsabit town can shape our life 
and there's a way that it can cause us to be at the, at the same level, all of us. Hmm? Mr. Ronald Maganga was telling me. I think some of you know him. He said, hey, Pasi, that was 2015. You need to talk. Too much service. <laughs> Those days when I came and uh, he's the the KCSF chair at Goro and he's the one who took me to all these schools. So I if we talk about time I keep time. If we say eight I come by seven fifty and it's coming like eight then. And uh, they normally say the the more you move from the city the slower the life is. Everything slows down. So even even looking at time, keeping time and all these things. No. It is not. It, it can happen to people, but we should not allow it. That's why we need to have information come to us that will lift us. It is information that lifts you. So there has to be a choice by each and every one of us to rise in life every day. It is as simple as just deciding I am not going down. I am only going up. It's something that you have to deliberately decide. This morning devotion. I know there is a time we are even coming at 4. What has happened? Is the the devil comes slowly, little by little. And uh, yesterday we were talking as leaders of the church. Squeeze in any metal care. At a pump to match. At a There's a way the devil comes. The truth is, if we become weak in prayers, we continuously become weaker and weaker. You, you lose dominion. Prayer is a place. Of exercising authority and causing things to work for you. But when you don't walk up and speak, what happens? You continue growing dull by the day. And you lose zeal, passion. The reason as to why the churches that don't open every day do not do mission is because they don't have strength to face the enemy in the field. When, when you, we come like this every morning and we pray, every evening we are here, even if you are sent out, you are meeting people who don't pray, who don't read the word like you read. So you are so resourceful to them. And you stop doing this, you will join them. And you will have no experience, no, 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 no influence on anybody. So the more you increase your prayer life, the more you increase your influence, the more you also succeed in even other areas of your life. I know I will not stop speaking unless I stop myself. But uh, what I'm saying is we must decide to move from one level to another. Now we are in March is coming to an end. Three months is already over. We are remaining only with nine months. How fast should we grow in the next nine months? We can decide. In the area of prayer, the word of God, finances, do not divorce. I don't, need, don't, don't even know if there is something called secular life. Your life that you live out there from the one of the church. I'm talking about business. Your business has to be affected by your prayer life here. Your work has to be affected by anything you do out there has to be affected by the things you're doing here. It must improve. When you talk about insecurity around, the prayer you're making here must influence confidence out there irrespective of whether people are running like what it must influence it must influence your, your academics 
the more you pray, the more you succeed. Amen. Yeah. Father, we are thankful for your word. It is light. It's life. And it always improves us. It always. This week, the truth is that is the portion of a new creation. From glory to glory. It's a principle that we see working in everything you have put up. When we look at a seed that is planted, there is progress about it until it becomes a big tree. Until it reaches the point where its success is at a climax. Thank you, Jesus. We will increase by the day. We will extend to every area of this land. Our boundaries increases by the day. Our finances increases. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This day is blessed. We walk out blessed and come back blessed. We cast and stop every darkness over this day. In the name of Jesus. May there be light only this day. May there be peace over this city. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. We refuse anything that is not of God. To take over this land. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. May the grace. And the love of God. And the fellowship of the spirit. Is with us now. And forevermore. Amen. Amen.